Hey everybody, what is up? You're with your boy here, Tyler Pasta, making his one and own first Raid Shadow Legends guide. All right, guys, in 104 days of playing Raid Shadow Legends, I was able to get my gem mine all the way up. Um, I was able to get almost the entire store. Um, my great haul I've been working on pretty solid um now let's look at my champion pool i went with kale at the beginning uh kale is a very good solid starting champ uh authern uh probably just butchered his name uh and then i have senessa senessa is really good uh i got some pretty lucky pulls like um allure gorb gorb i also got stagnite um I got Verask, Royal Guard. I got both the sisters. I got Grave Chill Killer. And then I got Frozen Banshee. I also got Apothecary. Uh, I got extremely lucky with Sand slash Survivor. There we go. I got Soulbound Boyer, which she is very amazing. I grinded the heck for Karela Witch Arm. Another great, probably one of the best healers. Um... Steel Skull. He's, I would say he's as good as Apothecary, if not better. Um, Juliana. Hi, kitty cat. Um, I got a couple epics that I've been working up. Um, he, he's not the best. Uh, I, I have plans for him for Clan Boss, maybe. I got a Cold Heart, which is pretty awesome. I think I'm going to be using her for Clan Boss. Because she's extremely good. Uh, Cardinal, which I got extremely lucky with her. Uh, Man Eater, I got extremely lucky. Um, and I got her today. And it was pretty interesting. Uh, because I, I didn't know much about her. Uh, she didn't... I didn't really see uh, too much with her until I actually looked at her. She looks amazing. The, the artwork on her is very... Very cool. Alright, guys. Now I'm going to show you my vaults. I got Basher, Drake. That's just the Drake. Um, Jizar. I don't really like him. I believe... I think you outgrow him way too fast in the game. And I I just don't... I don't like that. Um, Gallic Executioner. Um, Yaga. I, I'm not big into Yaga because I have a bunch of Poisoners now. Uh, Shaman, she's probably never going to leave there. Dark Athenal, never going to leave. Um, these these ones are kind of basically, they should be food. I got a Bear and I got a Nessa. Uh, I got Horden, High Cthune. I forged Relic Keeper. And I also have Frozen Banshee. All right, guys. So I'm going to be showing you... Um, oh, I also have Reliquilly Tender, which she is actually really amazing if you book this. If you can book this down, I mean, you can get that to a five turn. This is where your money's at. Removes all buffs from allies, then places a 15 continuous buff for two turns so if you can keep that up there's you can literally get a mastery to make it three turns and she's going to be way more way more viable on your teams than anything else i do like her more than actually mother superior which i thought mother superior was like a really op healer until i started to get some of these really op healers um and some of my progression groups, uh, and even clan boss, uh, Karela Witch Arm is just amazing. She's very good, very solid champion. I like what they brought into her. She doesn't have a lot. Maybe she could use a rework? Possibly. But she is a very solid champ, needless to say. Uh, she gives 50% attack and 30% critical, which is awesome. Uh, that brings a lot to the team. Uh, and it also attacks all enemies on that. So it's buffing and doing damage. Um, she has a built-in stun. Uh, 
has an 80% chance. It can be booked to a 100% chance on a three-turn cooldown. Very amazing champion. Um, for clan boss also, Frozen Banshee has been one of my leaders uh, with clan boss. Uh, and when, once I actually book her down, she's got to be very good. Uh, I mean, what I'm, what I'm essentially running into in this game right now is gear and books. And that's what the grind is essentially going to be. My Stagnite is getting down with the books. Um, he's basically, I got extremely lucky. I pulled Stagnite. This was during the Gorilla Witch Arm, um, event. I pulled two different Stagnites, 24 hours from each other, one on my alt and one on my main account, which is crazy. I have a I have two Royal Guards. I have one that I've been actually working on, one that I've just been leveling here or there just for added because i mean you can run two royal guards on your team but now that i have a cold heart uh i'm gonna have boom has a 30 percent extra chance of inflicting a critical hit damage increases according to the enemy's max hp but it also decreases the turn meter by 100 percent yeah i mean she is just truly amazing cold heart i'm extremely lucky to have her I can actually get a, yeah, an unkillable team with Maneater. I'm actually really excited for that, so that I've been working him up. I just, I have a lot of potential on this account, and I just need to keep grinding to be able to get these people, to get an unkillable clan boss team, to just work and work hard on this account i have been maxing my armiger and armiger is someone you probably sleep on a lot but if you actually look at him he's not bad he is probably the best uncommon in the game and there's my dog uh decreases the turn meter by 30 percent if this attack is critical damage inflicted so you build him up on defense and you build him to 100 percent crit and he will literally if you have put a divine speed set on him or even just an actual just really fast speed set he will have so much turn meter manipulation he'll be like having an allure on the team except for allure does 25 so he, she does 75 for hit and he does 30, but you can also have different turn meter manipulation with that also. All right, guys, I'm going to show you what I've been working on with my dungeons. Um, Minotaurs, I am almost max. I'm at 13. Uh, Ice Golem, I have not worked hard at all. I've, I've literally just left Ice Golem alone, so I'm at 10. Uh, Spider's Den, I am locked solid on stage 9. Locked solid. Completely, utterly solid. I am just locked solid on her. Uh, so we got Dragon's Lair, which I have been progressing because I really need gear. So I believe I'm at, yeah, okay, I'm at 13. And I am not strong enough for 14 yet. So I just need to keep grinding, get sets, get gear and it is what it is fire knight uh yeah i'm at 40. so i have not been progressing completely crazy but i'm also leveling with minotaurs labyrinth uh and i mean it's it's fairly similar even here where i mean i'm at 12 i could probably even do 13 to even give it a try um but right now i'm essentially at a gridlock and I need quite a bit of things to fix this account to be able to get it good. But I think I'm in a right direction right now. And I think I'm in a very good position to keep getting more and more stuff on this account. Um, it's just going to keep getting better. And I'm going to have to keep waiting for the two times events to pull uh, like fairly OP champions. Uh, champions that I would like for this account. Um... I would really like 
And then Ignatius or Biggin. Two really good ones that I think would be really good for this account. Um, like anyone, I would love a Venus. Um, I would like a good clan bosser. And I think an Ethereal would be amazing. Amazing clan bosser. Uh, Altan would also be good. So, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.